Welcome back to Upper Michigan today, everybody. We are starting the process of painting a mural here in the parking lot of TV6 and Fox UP. It's right across from the uh, US 41 Highway, though you probably wouldn't be able to see it if you were driving by. Um, and I say starting the process, I don't quite know if we'll finish it or not yet because, well, these can take a lot of time. You just simply cannot rush perfection. <laughs> <laughs> and um, you, when you were painting the Remember mural, Brianna, you said that took you, you know, almost half a day. You kind of had to stop and go because of the rain, but we have beautiful weather for painting a mural. Not a cloud in the sky. I think uh, this will dry real fast and look really nice. I love what you've got going on so far. Thank you. Yeah, I'm sure it'll dry fast and look great. I know, and I'm just kind of cleaning up this green here. I, I just want to make some sharper edges around the perimeter. What are you doing, Elizabeth? Oh gosh, I'm just really into it. I've got a lot of paint on my hands. When you're doing a piece like this, where do you pull? I mean, I know I know the the inspiration behind the remember. We've we've talked about that, and I think it's just it's it's so beautiful that you were able to do that to to honor your mom and honor all of those impacted by Alzheimer's. But you know, where else do you pull inspiration from in your in your other paintings? And so for my other paintings, generally it's by commission, but it's from the depths of my heart. So if if somebody has a pet that they've lost, I just give it my all. And I usually work from photos, but not always. And I just let that creative en energy flow. Um, and it's a lot of playfulness. So just having fun and being able to play and being a free spirit, it's, it's great. Where do you typically do your work? Do you have a studio or do I you do. Do it I do. Okay. I work with at home and I just work there and I have the kids, so yeah, it can be a little chaos. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably part of the process. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they teach me a lot of patience. And how has your artwork changed over the years? As as you've become, you know, more public and you've you've started to do different kinds of commissions, what how have you seen maybe yourself evolve? I have seen so much growth and just maturity in my art and being able to understand color better. And um, like I was telling Tia, I didn't even know how to color mix two years ago. So it's just grabbing a hold of all that knowledge. I am not, I'm not self-made. I'm self-taught, but not self-made. I follow other local artists and they'll give me tips and it's, it's a community, not a competition. I love that. I do too. Oh. Do you find that we have a really supportive art community here in the Upper Peninsula? Yes, uh, it's huge. And even if if you go online on your Facebook, there's art groups out there. And there have been so many supportive artists that I can just lean on to ask questions. Or if I'm nervous about something, they'll talk me through it. It's been incredible. It's been such an incredible experience. I couldn't do it alone. Have you had a chance to just go for a bike ride down the bike path and go by your, you know, just ride <laughs> over it like just to, like it's just normal? My husband just bought a bike and said he wanted to go at least once a week. So that was Aww, precious. <laughs> that's amazing. That's got to feel so good. It does just to feel his support. And that was that was pretty sweet. Oh, I love that green tea. Okay, I've got to get to the silhouette part. This is the part that I'm nervous about. What's your first silhouette going to be? I'm drawn to a skier. And if you notice, I have one on my shirt. So yeah. I might be going like this. <laughs> oh, that, that feels like it's really going to be helpful. For the reference. <gasps> hey, I'm going to take your green brush. Oh, go ahead. Okay, I'm going to go to green. Okay. All right, well, let's take another break. We're going to keep working. I'm loving how this is coming along. 